What is up fellas of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim. Today, I wanted to talk about a very important topic. And the fact is, let's face it, Black Ops Cold War is an incomplete game. It just is. It's missing content. It's lacking content. They have reserved certain content for future updates, knowing that, you know, we're going to get bored of this game at a certain point. So they just push it off till later. And it's pretty much a fact now. You know, there's COD leakers all over the place telling us like, oh, season one's going to have X amount of maps. And some of these maps were supposed to be at launch, but they later cut it out for whatever reason. I know they're just leakers. I know it's just data miners, but I'm pretty sure it's legit at this point. And honestly, it's believable. That's the big issue with this game. But before I go any further, I just want to remind you quickly, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. You know, uh, a lot of people are seeing these videos and not subscribed. So it'd be really cool if you did. You know, like I said before, it's good for you. It helps out me. It helps out you. Uh, let's just all help each other, right? So if you've done that, let's get right back into it. And before I get into the main topic, I want to touch on this article that literally just came out. Uh, it's from Charlie Intel. And basically it says, Black Ops Cold War UK opening week sales are lower than Modern Warfare. Uh, so this is referring referring to the physical sales, which makes sense because we're in a pandemic. People don't really want to go out and buy it physically and not many people order it online anymore either. Because if you're going to do that, you might as well just download it on your console or on your PC, right? Apparently via games industry, uh, Cold War's digital downloads were up 39% over Modern Warfare, but their physical sales were down almost 64% compared to Modern Warfare. So that's, that's a huge difference, right? Like even though you're up 39%, you're down a lot. And honestly, I kind of see it coming, right? As far as a launch and launch hype goes, Modern Warfare did it a lot better. Uh, I'm not saying the game was better, but I'm saying that their marketing strategy and all that stuff was way better. The hype around Modern Warfare was pretty unrivaled. You know, I don't think that kind of hype is going to be the same for Call of Duty in a very long time. You could say like you and me and, you know, a lot of people who didn't like Modern Warfare were hyped for Cold War. But the thing is, Modern Warfare had this weird cult following that just like loved it. You know, it, they loved the terrible maps. They loved the campiness of it. Uh, just a lot of people liked Modern Warfare, what can I say? But I wanted to touch on this article because it showed that uh, the game's first week sales were down 16% compared to Modern Warfare. Uh, and it's it's an unknown fact that Modern Warfare is one of the best selling Call of Duty games of all time, right? The opening weekend saw $600 million in revenue, like just the opening weekend. Then obviously after that, Warzone came in and completely saved the day. So, you know, a ton of people just think back to Modern Warfare and think very highly of it. And I honestly don't think Cold War is going to get that same that same love. And especially now, because it's pretty much a proven fact that Black Ops Cold War is an incomplete game. It's not finished yet. It's not even close to done. If I had to give it a percentage of being done right now, I'd say under 70%, probably between like 60 to 70% of this game is finished right now. I think they have a ton more maps to add, probably double, maybe triple of what we still have right now. So if you didn't know, we have eight 6v6 maps right now. I think by the end of the game, we should have between 16 to 18 6v6 maps. That's, that's my guess. You know, I think we're gonna bring back a ton of 6v6 maps from older games. Games, so a lot of remasters. I think we're gonna have probably like six to eight remasters. No, not eight. Maybe like maybe like four to six remasters, and then maybe like four to six new maps. That's my guess. And I don't remember the exact person. I think it was the Modern Warfare 2 OG Ghost or something like that. Some Twitter account is one of the COD leakers. He basically said, as I hinted at in the intro, uh, he basically said that there are three maps coming to season one of Black Ops Cold War. Like this is not counting Nuketown. So we're gonna get Nuketown and then three maps and two of them are remasters or something like that. But also he said that two of them were supposed to be in the game at launch, which means that they most likely cut out Nuketown and two maps uh, at launch. So there should have been 11 6v6 multiplayer maps at launch, which makes sense to me. That would be fine. Instead, they wanted to sparse it out. They definitely sparsed out Nuketown. They could have had that in, you know, pretty much at launch. And basically, if you didn't know, the reason for they're doing this is because they want to try out this new system of drip feeding content. They did it in Modern Warfare. And honestly, it was successful. You know what I mean? Like it got people playing the game over and over again. But the difference is that Modern Warfare had more in-game playlists than Cold War does, right? Cold War just has your 12v12, your fire team, and uh, your, your zombies and your multiplayer, obviously, multiplayer being 6v6. But the thing is, there's not a lot of maps on this, right? Only three 12v12 maps and eight 6v6 maps, and then two fire team. I mean, if you don't like fire team, you're just not playing that. If you're a rational person, you're not going to be playing Miami. So there's really not a whole lot of options left. If you like 12v12, you're probably not going to like Crossroads or Armada. There's not a high chance you like either of those. So even though we have a decent amount of maps, it's not like a lot. It's not. It's definitely a shortage of maps. 
even though we have this maps that since we can't play on a certain few or like i just refuse to play on a certain few uh it makes it tough to play on the same maps over and over like i know a lot of people are done with moscow satellite especially from the alpha to both betas and now it's like the beta weekend three like we're just literally playing the same things over and over again and now that we have map voting people really vote for the same thing over and over again uh so it's just i can see why people are bored the thing is, this game is incomplete. Like I said before, I think the only complete aspects of it are the perks and maybe streaks, but honestly, I think they're adding more perks and streaks. So honestly, this game's not complete. I was gonna say I'm fine with it. I'm, I don't wanna say I'm fine with it because I honestly, I'm getting kind of bored. I'm already, I'm already close to my second prestige and there's not a whole lot else to do aside from like dark matter. I think if they tune down the skill-based matchmaking, I think that would be a big help of making this game feel less boring because it, it really forces Forces the meta to be, you know, kind of stagnant. Because the SBMM is so high, you're forced to run the same guns. You're forced to run the best guns. Whatever, an AK, a Krig, a FFR, an MP5. You know, like you're forced to use these same guns. You can't experiment with an LMG. You can't, you know, if you're not a if you're not a known sniper or whatever, you can't really snipe and do super well. Not to say snipers are overpowered or underpowered. I just think like if you're not a good sniper, you can't just mess around and try sniping. I mean that makes sense in most Call of Duty games, but in this game it's highlighted even more because of the skill-based matchmaking. Another the thing this this game has already that i think a lot of people slept on this game has challenges it has leaderboards it has a prestige mode it has dark ops challenges it has zombies granted only one map it has theater mode it has weapon ins inspect like this game has a lot to offer already it's just not a lot of substance that you can offer you know modern warfare not to say it offered substance but it offered good graphics a good you know gameplay mechanic obviously not good gameplay actually when you play the game because of the maps and you know dead silence and all that stuff you guys know, already know that stuff Bruh. but functionality wise modern warfare offered a good amount it didn't offer a lot of this like non-substantial stuff like leaderboards prestige dark ops uh, I don't know, challenges, stuff like that. It didn't really offer interesting things like that, but it offered a base game that was fair, that was, dare I say, fun. What? It could be fun on certain maps, I'll put it that way. At the end of the day, Infinity Ward knows how to develop a base fundamental game that operates well, right? But Treyarch knows how to make a game fun. They know how players want to play. They actually, I believe they play test their game. I don't I could be wrong. I really could be wrong, but I believe they play test their game. And at the end of the day, the best thing for Call of Duty would be for them to merge together and then maybe make one game every two years. You know, Infinity Ward develop the base of it, Treyarch make it sure it's fun. And then that's it. You know, that's all we need. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, Activision wants to make money every single year. And, uh, I feel like we need to tell them like uh, this could be a completely separate commentary but I feel like someone needs to speak with money and just not pre-order and maybe not even buy the game until it's ready you know like if we just did not buy the game until it was ready which I assume Cold War will be ready by I don't know February or March that's my guess I think we're like I said before we're currently between like I'll say 65% of the way this game is done I think the game will be like 90 to 95 percent done by march i think you know january ish will probably be around 80 and i think a lot of people will start to enjoy it around 80 percent but as of now we're at like 65 you know maybe low 60s percent and not many people are having fun right you get bored of it at 60 percent there's not enough maps not enough content 27 guns at launch not a whole lot to do but as I was saying, I think it's most important. I think it would be the best decision if Infinity Ward and Treyarch was somehow kind of come together and make it make the best game they could that way. That would just be the best thing in my opinion. I don't think they're going to do that logistically. I don't think they're going to do it logically. It doesn't make sense for them in a money standpoint. So, you know, continuous reiterating that won't make sense. Like I said, I really don't think people should be pre-ordering the next game. Honestly, I'm considering not buying the next game until I know it's good. You know, I might just watch reviews and things like that. Even though I'm a content creator, Later. we'll see we'll see how my channel goes but anyway that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i am still working on my very large very long review for uh hopefully tomorrow maybe sunday at this time making this video we'll see today's friday and i hope that you enjoy it i hope you subscribed if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one follow me on twitch follow me on twitter peace out